Hey everybody, we wanted to update the product video to show you how to use the Switchbox app and the hardware. Once you receive your Switchbox, contact the support at switchboxcontrol.com email and get your unique phone number for your device. Once you have your phone number, download the app on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and simply open the app Add a switch box by clicking on the first icon. Put your unique phone number in the phone number field. And for the password, you leave it the default 123456. Then press next. In the device name, you can name it any name that you would like for your device. And for the outlets, also any labels you'd like for outlet 1 and 2. Battery notifications should be slid to on if you've received a switch box with an internal battery and press save. Once you press save, you'll see that first field showing your switch box name and a pop-up notification telling you that you've successfully programmed your device once you've received this success battery notifications are on pop-up. You can first click on the sync button here, which is the first left button. It's a circular arrow that tells you once you press continue, it will sync the device to the local reception of your area. And you should receive a pop-up letting you know that that was completed successfully. Once you click on the switch box field, you will go to the menu page where you will see the outlet status. You can see here that it's synced with the device showing you that outlets 1 and 2 are both off and you can click on outlet 1 pushing your finger on the left power button. A black check mark is shown and a pop-up will appear letting you know that success outlet 1 is on and you can see the LED is turned on. You can turn it off by clicking your finger again on the power button and you will get a pop-up. You can do the same for outlet 2 and you'll see outlet 2 come on and you get your pop-up and turn it off for outlet 2. You'll see that check mark and the success notification and you also are able to do that for both outlets at the same time. You can change your device password easily by going into the settings menu on the top right corner and clicking change device password. First you enter your current password which is the default 123456 and you can change it to any password you would like. Here it's 654321 and it will ask you to verify that. Once you do that, you'll see a check mark and a success, and you've successfully changed your password. We want to show you also how the battery notifications work. If power is lost to the device and we are unplugging it now, you'll see the outlets will turn off and the internal circuit board of the switch box is still online on the local network. It will send a notification to you that it is indeed running on backup battery and is not plugged into the wall anymore. It's running on its own internal battery. So it will keep a memory of what outlets are in sync when it goes back online. You can see it's all green lit up there because once we are plugging it back in now, you see it goes immediately back to both outlets on. The app is still in sync with the device and you will get a pop-up showing success, normal power has returned. And that's all there is to it. You can go back to the main page. You can add another switch box if you would like. You can go into your menu and remove the device and start over. And that's all there is to it. Happy to help.